12 forecast. Well, here in southern New England, not looking at any tornadoes, but we are tracking some heavy rain and gusty winds overnight tonight. Let's take a look right now at our live cam in Lincoln, where you can even kind of see the wind blowing underneath the lights here. The winds have picked up over the last hour or so. We did see winds uh, record at 42 miles an hour at Connecticut Lighthouse in Warwick here. Uh, but now with some heavier rain moving through the area, we are seeing those winds start to pick up. The gut, the highest gusts that we're tracking. We are under a high wind warning for the areas in red. We could see gusts up to 65 miles an hour. In the areas in brown, we could see gusts up to 50 miles an hour. Nevertheless, we are concerned about some of these power outage issues as well as the risk for flooding and those high winds overnight tonight. We also have a coastal flood advisory. This has been downgraded slightly. We did have a coastal flood watch as of yesterday. This was downgraded to an advisory affecting the coastlines of Rhode Island, Southeast Eastern Mass up into Narragansett Bay. And the main time frame that we're concerned about any coastal flooding issues would be mainly around high tide at 6 a.m. Monday morning as the tide rises in with this strong southerly flow, southerly winds, we could see some coastal flooding issues. Temperatures right now very mild here in the low 60s, upper 50s, 60 in Providence right now, right around 56 in Narragansett down at the coast. Your wind gusts right now, as I mentioned, have picked up a bit here in the last hour as the rain has picked up as well. 40 mile an hour gusts right now in Providence, right around the same out towards Block Island, the Cape as well. And again, we are expecting these gusts to continue to rise as we continue into the overnight. Wind gusts, this is the kind of forecast we're tracking. Again, these areas in red where we have the high wind warning could see wind gusts up to 65 mile an hour. This is the most likely area to see more widespread power outages. That chance for wind gusts will decrease a little bit the farther inland you go in the yellow and green areas. We also do have a moderate risk in the circle in red here for excessive rainfall. And let's take a look at kind of the rainfall forecast for those totals as we head towards uh, Monday morning here. So having an issue here with the graphic, but in that circle in red that we were seeing, that's where we're expecting the highest rainfall totals up to four inches there in central Connecticut and northwestern Rhode Island. Satellite and radar, we are seeing some heavier rain coming through the area, and these conditions are going to continue over the next several hours. So let's take a look at kind of what we're expecting for the rest of the night tonight. 3.30 in the morning, seeing some heavy rain moving through, strong wind gusts. As this line comes through here where you see these reds and oranges that could hold some stronger thunderstorms we could see localized higher wind gusts and rainfall amounts and this is going to kind of coincide right with the start of your morning commute so if you're heading out the door six seven eight o'clock please be careful if you're heading out on the roads we could see some downed trees power lines and some localized flooding especially in those poor drainage areas that we've been having problems with over the past several months. Conditions are going to improve, though, after around 10 o'clock. Still going to be gusty for the rest of your Monday with much cooler temperatures as well, but the rain moves well out of the area after the morning hours. So again, your Monday morning, if you're heading out the door early, be prepared for that rain and wind to still be lingering on. And with all the rain overnight and wind, we could see, again, some down power lines, trees, something to be mindful of. Afternoon looking a lot better here with conditions improving. Could even see some sunshine for the rest of the day. But again, we are still looking at some gusty conditions for the entirety of your Monday. So seven day forecast here, getting through the rest of the night with these conditions. And again, be careful if you're heading out in the morning during that morning commute, still looking at uh, these gusty winds and heavy rain moving through the area. And we can certainly probably hear that overnight too when we wake up at least. Yeah, it's going to be very windy and especially as those thunderstorms come through, you might hear some rumbles of thunder overnight. All right, be careful everyone. Still ahead in sports.